I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, how you would expect to operate this machine once you have it. Okay, so this is our M2R unit, and this is our fully automated casting machine. Just a quick overview. This is how you adjust how fast you want it to rotate around the carousel. This is a fan. There's a fan on both sides. So there's a fan here and a fan here. So this is uh, after the bullet comes out of the pot, the first fan is going to be here before the sprue is cut. And this is before, as the sprue is coming up and getting ready to be put underneath the pot, that's another fan right there. Meter valve, that's going to be your uh, lead pour, whether you want it to be on or off. So if you're trying to clear out all your, all your molds, you can turn that off, let the carousel go around and clear out all your molds. The drive is to drive the carousel so that the molds begin to rotate around. And heater to obviously turn your heater on or off. This is your heater control for what temperature you want it to be set for and where it's going to hold. And this is your counter for how long you want the lead to pour for. So if you're doing a heavy bullet, like right now we have this set up doing a 400 grain uh, bullet, so it's going to be 0.94 seconds is what we have it set for. If you're doing something lighter, you can just go into the control uh, right here. Uh, right now, when I press that, it's got the number three lit up, so I can make that bigger or smaller number. Hit the yellow button, it will switch over to the next digit. And once you get it set to where you want, you hit this blue button and now it's set. So now it will pour for 0.99 seconds. So if I want to put that back where I had it, again, hitting, the, hitting either one of these arrows will make that first digit come up, put it where you want it, 0.93 is where I had it, so I'll just lock that back in. And now it is set for a 0.93 second pour. So there's your control panel. Uh, inside of here, I've got this unlocked already, but turn, turn this knob, everything will shut off. Open up to the inside. You can see solid state relays inside of here. Very nicely laid out, very professionally wired. Uh, fuses, everything very accessible, very easy to work on if you do have to work on it. All, all the things that you see in here are something you can buy right off the shelf. This is not proprietary electronics that are in here so that finding parts for this machine for years to come will be very easy and accessible. Okay, we've kind of over the control panel a little bit, but let me show you how you're actually gonna use this once you receive it. Um, your drive, this is making the carousel start to go around. Um, it's not pouring any lead because we don't have the meter valve on. So once we wanna get that on, it's now, you can see this coming down. And when that comes down, that's, that's your actual pour. And you can see you're set for nine, 93 milliseconds, and that's what it's gonna pour each time. So you can, you can watch it here. If you wanna turn the fan on, that turns this fan on here. So after the sprue has been filled with lead, it's coming to the next station. The fan is there to cool that, and that's gonna make it so you can uh, turn this up. Now, different bullets. Depending on how fast your sprue, depending on how fast your sprue is going to cool down, you can set the speed of this to wherever you wherever you like, whatever's going to give you good bullets. So if you can get good bullets at that speed, you can run at that speed. So you can run up to about 5,000, 5,500 bullets an hour, as long as you're getting good bullets out of it. So if you've got a bullet that needs a little lower speed, very simple adjustment and you'll get used to what bullet you're running, what lead you're running, and you can make fine adjustments to that. Uh, you can turn your one fan on or both fans on, it's up to you. So you've got one fan here and one fan here. Again, this one is cooling the screws. Turn this down so you can hear me. This one is cooling the sprues um, so that it cools it down faster so that you can uh, get the lead to solidify and break off. And this side is cooling it down so that it's cooler before it actually gets into the lead pour. So this side of the machine, this is where your sprues are dropping out. Um, every once in a while you will get a, a bullet to come out into your sprues. It, it's not very often, but uh, you will get a few uh, coming in on this side. But for the most part, your sprues are gonna come in, drop off on this side, and on the other side will be your finished bullets that you can uh, then bring out and sort. You're adjusting your drive here, your heater here, your timer for the lead pour here, and your temperature control right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions about our product from American Casting Equipment, please go to the website listed down below. Thanks for watching.